What's going on, y'all? Um, so I was watching this video on YouTube the other day of like a, a three-month rule. When a guy meets a girl, he's got to wait three months to have sex with her. For what? When a guy waits three months to have sex with a girl, you know what she's doing? She ain't practicing abstinence. You know what she's doing? She jerking off or she's going to fuck her ex-boyfriend. So she's ready to fuck you. That's all she does. Don't let no fucking world play that shit. That fucking game on you. You gotta wait. Fuck her. Because, they, you know, it's just bullshit. You know, uh, I got a friend. He been married 42 years. He said he been with his wife the first, since the first day he met her. You know, grown people don't change. All you gotta do when you talk to a girl is interrogate her fucking ass. You gotta interrogate her and she gotta interrogate you. If, if you're serious, if you're just trying to get some pussy, then you might as well go on and fuck with a hooker or some shit. But if you're trying to find somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, all you got to do is interrogate them. Everything is a risk. Even when you're in business, there's a risk. But you want to lower your risk as much as possible. So if she don't like the shit you asking her, and if you don't like the shit she asking you, then y'all don't belong together. That's, it's real simple. It's real simple, man. All you got to do is ask her, find out what you don't like about her, and ask yourself, can you live with it? Because whatever it is you don't like about her, you can't change. It ain't going to change, because grown, grown people don't change. The only time grown people change is when they're in jail or when they're in church. As soon as they come out of jail, as soon as they come out of church, they go right back to who they was being before. Grown motherfuckers don't change. They do change. It take them, if they're 32 years old, it's going to take them another 32 years to change. So if you're going to stay with them for 64 years, then go ahead and, and then chisel away. Because you ever look at water, you ever look at water when it drops on the ground? Water, if it's if it constantly drops, it's like an indentation. But it don't happen overnight. It may take years to change. It's like water, it just chisels away. And if you want to be with somebody for 64 years trying to change them, then go ahead. But that's 64 years that you don't waste it, that you could have been with somebody that you that was compatible, compatible from the start. So, like I tell girls, what's the point of, you know, uh, you might think I'm rapping to you because I'm interested in sleeping with you. But that's not a big deal. Because once we become friends, you're going to give it to me anyway. In fact, I can fuck you anytime I want. So what's the big deal? Tell her, you ain't got to wait three fucking months. We could wait three months, or we could wait one month, or we could wait one hour. What point, what's the difference? Either you're going to be with me forever or you're not. But women have been taught that, that, that they got to find out what kind of guy, to find out how, how loyal a guy is. You got to make him wait. Get the fuck out of here. Why you waiting? She going home to fuck her ex the guy that she's having a tumultuous relationship right now, the one that she's not getting along with, but the dick is still good to her, that's the one she's fucking with while she's going out on dates with you. Because she's more comfortable around her ex-boyfriend walking around naked and all that other shit. So that's who she's fucking while she's making you wait three months. And then she wants you to think that she's a goody-goody. It ain't no fucking sense.